49ers GM, John Lynch, says he is very, very encouraged after seeing Brock Purdy's first throwing session of the season. So, guys, fact or crap, Brock Purdy has to make a comeback right now, has to be starter week one if he ever wants to start in the NFL again. So when we dive into the San Francisco 49ers quarterback issues, right, they they have an issue of keeping quarterbacks healthy. They have an issue of keeping players in general healthy, right? Now, Brock Purdy right now is listed as a starter, but he has said it himself that he doesn't, quote, want to put a timeline on his return to put pressure on himself. That tells me the injury is a lot more extensive than everybody first thought. Why would you say, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be ready or like, or like, or not, if you truly don't know? This is OTAs. This is offseason. Everybody is, is, is opt optimistic right now. Everybody is 0-0. Zero and zero. Everybody's a Super Bowl caliber team. Everybody's going 17 and 0. So Brock Purdy say, oh, I'm not I, I'll be ready by, by week one. For him not to say that, to, to be optimistic, that tells me something is really, really wrong. Now he may have thrown, right? He may be able to pick the arm up and kind of lightly toss the ball. Well, Many broken down quarterbacks, broken down adults in general can toss a ball, right? We can take a three-step box back, pop up up what and you know, throw it. Nice spiral, nice, not nice, easy throw. Put the pads on, put the helm, helm and on, put some pressure on you, and let me really gun it in there. Then I'll tell you really how it feels. Guys, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say right here: if Brock Purdy is not the starter by week one. He will not start for San Francisco 49ers this season if Trey Lance stays healthy. Trey Lance is going to get his shot this year in San Francisco. This is a make or break year for Trey Lance this year in San Francisco. With that being said, when he is starter week number one because Brock Purdy is not healthy, Trey Lance is going to ball out of his mind. Trey Lance has to ball out of his mind for him to even be in the NFL anymore. Now, b barring some crazy-ass trade with the Houston Texans, which should, could possibly happen, we'll get into that later, Trey Lance is going to be the guy in San Francisco. You can call Mr. N e relevant. Oh, he's amazing. He went 7-1. and one. He did this, this, and this, and this. You're right. He did do this, this, and this. He did have an incredible 2022 NFL season. There was also zero pressure on that kid. Everybody can perform when there's zero pressure on you. Like it just it just is what it is, right? Now, like now, once the pressure starts to you know come down on you, your butthole starts to swell a like a little bit. You 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 just don't start to play as good, right? Oh, but Bucky went. He was seven and one, yada yada yada. He had two, he had uh two uh, uh playoff wins over Seattle and the Cow Cow Cowboys. Yes, ass kicked by the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's look at those five previous wins in the regular season. Arizona Cardinals, they were not very good. One hundred seventy eight yards that game. Las Vegas Raiders, complete tank mode at that point. Hell, Derek Carr wasn't even even the even in the facility. I forget who the quarterback was, but their quarterback did ball out of their mind. Washington Commanders. They were fighting for a playoff spot, yes, but the Commanders were a sinking ship. They were terrible at that point in time. Seattle Seahawks. You can call what you want. It's still a, a division game. He did go into Seattle, and he did win, and win that game, yes. Then his first start of his career, sorry, his second start of his career versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Buccaneers were pretty much done at that, that point as well. The NFC South was the worst team in the NFL, right? Or sorry, the worst division in the in the NFL. And then opening his first start of the season, right? Versus the Miami Dolphins. Yes, that was a huge win. But the Miami Dolphins sucked that game. They were terrible. Terrible. But yeah, that just, guys, get off this Brock Purdy hype.